All right, folks, we're back now with Dr. Darian taking a look at some of the medical questions that you are asking at home. And David P. wants to know, what is the prostate health index test and how is it different than other screening exams? Yeah, so many people might not know about this. This is one of those tests that isn't often done. This isn't used as a screening method. The prostate health index is used calculations from various blood tests to create the idea of what your risk is of prostate cancer before a biopsy. So it's one of those important measures where if you have an elevated PSA, now that is that blood test mm -hmm. that you use to screen for prostate cancer, then your doctor might talk to you about this test to help better understand your risk. Does that make sense? Yeah. Makes a lot and of so sense. that, and many people don't know about this, but I think it's so important because prostate cancer is a leading cause of death and disease among men. And it's one of those things where if you catch it early, the rate of cure is so high, more than 90%, that it just shows you that screening and conversations really do save lives. Is the blood test sufficient enough or do you sometimes still have to do the physical part? Sometimes you still have to do the physical part, depending on the blood test, depending on your history, you might have to get an ultrasound or a biopsy. All of that is dependent on the individual and their own risk. Mm. Good information. Your prescription for wellness? It's about rashes. You know, my prescription for wellness, I'll, I'll tell you, often comes from the text that I get. I'm not going to name <laughs> who sent me the text, but I want to tell you about it wasn't rashes. Me. <laughs> it wasn't anyone here. I want to tell you about rashes and what you need to understand and, and when you need to see a doctor. So these are some of the signs. Number one, if it covers most of your body, especially sensitive areas like your eyes, your lips, or your mouth, or if you notice blister formation or sores, these are signs that should cause you concern and lead you to get evaluated. If your rash is associated with things like a fever or illness that can be another sign that you need immediate medical attention and finally if you notice that the rash is spreading quickly which is really important specifically like if it's different one day and completely different the next or if you have trouble breathing or swallowing these are signs you should seek out medical uh, emergency medical assistance that's important info i love how eva was like let's clear that up yeah these yeah. two right here because well, i'm always sexy <laughs> and i'm always about privacy i wouldn't tell i wouldn't tell <laughs> thank you very much folks we would love to hear from you so please hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions at ABCGMA3.